early morning, nice and chilly, a little bit of ice on the vehicle. This particular hunt, we decided to um, head to one of our favorite spots in the Eastern Cape. Uh, it wasn't your traditional hunt and uh, we had quite a surprise uh, waiting for us. We were actually out looking for kudu. It was a beautiful day, it started off beautiful and the wind came up. Um, it was so strong, most of the animals were hiding up in the bush and it was very, very difficult to spot uh, moving animals. But we were lucky, we spotted some nice kudu early on in the morning. Um, unfortunately for us, uh, the rut was over and they had no nice bull with them. The second herd of kudu we spotted, uh, we actually saw them up quite close, also had no bull. So we came to the conclusion that the rut was over and the bulls had now gone on their own way. And obviously much harder to find, basically finding a needle in a haystack especially if you're looking for a nice big trophy bull. We decided to go up on the mountain, we went for a bit of a walk. It's very difficult walking underfoot, a lot of round rocks uh, in the tall grass, so you really got to watch your footing as you walk along. And we spotted some mountain rebuck and decided that this was a nice opportunity, nice, nice looking ram, and we were going to take it. After putting a little stalk in, we snuck up on the mountain rebuck. Uh, Duncan got in the prone position and made an excellent shot. The mountain rimbuck did, didn't go very far. Uh, you'll see the secondary growth on the horns. And we were very happy with a nice little ram. Having hunted that side of the farm quite hard in the morning and the wind still persisting we decided to hunt a different area this area isn't really known for uh, for its kudu but we decided to give it a bash anyways we hiked up the mountain uh, to see what we can see try and get to a vantage point still wind in our faces blowing quite strong unfortunately the sun was in our eyes as well but we had to make the best of the situation we crested a hill and on a feeding spot, cattle feeding spot, we spotted two images. At first we thought they were cattle, but on closer inspection we were surprised to find two Barbary sheep. And we decided that this was finally the moment we've been waiting for, and we were going to take them. Uh, we've been spotting them, or well, the first time I spotted them was probably about three years ago, and, uh, having permission to hunt them. I never saw them again. Um, they actually moved off or moved up the mountain, and um, it's quite inaccessible and that's probably why they're thriving in this area. So we put in a little bit of a stalk, got into a range of about 266 meters and taking the shot from there.
this was the first Barbary sheep that I ever hunted and I was very surprised to see um, them up close in the anatomy. Very heavy front shoulders, hindquarters actually quite small and when we butchered the animals afterwards uh, and skinned them, finding that the hind, hindquarters were quite small, very strong muscular front quarters, obviously for climbing up the rocks, very very thick neck, carrying those, carrying those heavy horns around. Well Duncan, this is quite an exciting hunt. Um, we came up here looking for uh, actually kudu and uh, we came over the hill. I saw these two dark figures feeding on a little uh, cattle uh, feeding spot and I said to Duncan, quickly get down, there's something there. And he's like, what, what, what? <laughs> and I said, those barbary sheep, he's like, you talking rubbish. <laughs> I tell you, um, Prior to this hunt, uh, another friend of ours uh, came hunting with a shawl and they saw these two Barbary sheep. And this must have been about three or four years ago. And they were after these two uh, Barbary ever since. And uh, since that day, we have not seen them. And I think we've been here a good few times, uh, you know, back and forth after them. And not even aware that we're going to hunt them today. We came across them by pure luck and uh, we took the opportunity. Oh, this was actually, we haven't even had a glimpse of them since we saw them the first time. Uh, we actually thought they disappeared out of the area and um, it's, it's very uh, strange to see them this far down on the mountain slope. Um, they're almost halfway down. Uh, lucky for us, we're walking uh, high enough and uh, managed to spot them and put in a nice little stalk and we went down. So we're very, very happy. And uh, yeah, well done. Well Thank done. You. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. You. It's not every day you get an opportunity at something like a, a Barbary sheep, especially if it's unexpected. But on this day, we got an opportunity at two. Having shot the one and watching it through the binox of this rifle scope, uh, watching it crash into a bush after the shot, um, we knew that the, the animal walked up closer to go have an inspection and see you know what actually happened where the shot placement was and so forth and then to our surprise the second one wasn't far off and jumped up and, and took off lucky for us we had a second opportunity then Duncan was able to put in a brilliant running shot on the animal and now we had two Barbary sheep instead of one so there you have it um, not one but two Barbary sheep in one afternoon. Um, we hunted this, this pair, they were together, and um, we successfully hunted the one, and as we started approaching this one, a second one jumped up and took off, and uh, Duncan was able to put a brilliant running shot in on it, and it went straight down. Now, how's that for stroke of luck, eh? I couldn't believe it. When I said, let's go hunting, you weren't expecting this, were you? No, not at all. I don't think either of us were expecting something like this. Okay, so here we have uh, Charles prepping the Barbary sheep to put him down the mountain. Uh, reason for us cutting him and uh, uh, doing the important stuff to take care of the skin for a, uh, a shoulder mount. Uh, we don't want to get anything damaged or have any burn marks, any scrape marks on the skin. It's not every day you get an opportunity like this and especially to share it with a good mate, it really makes a trip worthwhile.